Hey YouTube, this is Rick with uh, Hot Wheels Garage again today. Paul just stopped by and we set up the uh, Viper Cut 30. Uh, we went through some of the features and setup on it, so I thought this would be a great time to show you guys as well and also show you how well it cuts. Um, last time we were watching, we saw the unboxing of this unit. Since then, I have installed the uh, desiccant filter. I did have to go purchase a quarter by quarter male brass MIP fitting in order to thread into the plasma cutter and as well thread into the, the filter. Uh, this assures that the air is as dry as possible going into the unit. That helps to uh, keep the life of the consumables uh, as long as possible and also assures for a cleaner cut. Uh, you could also install it on your compressor if you like as well. I just felt that this was best for my application. Um, I also, prior to Paul coming out here, I did also drain the compressor as well. It's been a while since I drained it, so I just made sure that it was as clean as possible. Um, unfortunately, we are using the unit today on 110 volts, and I am running, also running the compressor on the same circuit. So we did have issues with the breaker tripping when we were trying to use the unit and cutting at the same time. Uh, going forward, I'm definitely going to have my 220 hooked up soon, so that way I will, won't have to worry about that issue. Um, the cuts are just super clean. If you can keep your hand nice and steady, you can get a nice and steady cut uh, using different... I've seen on YouTube guys using uh, different straight edges to make a clean straight cut. They also have uh, circle cutting uh, devices for help making clean circle cuts and angle cuts. So I can't wait to use this for different projects, but the, the cut is just super clean. and There's a little bit of slag on the back side, but that'll come off and chip off easily with a hammer. So uh, <clears throat> I think it's a great machine. It's, uh, it's a great option for a hobbyist. It's very cheap, affordable. Um, and as time goes on, I'll do more videos and we'll see how this unit holds up against time. Um, so on to Paul and he'll show you and explain the other features and set this unit up. Thanks YouTube. This is Paul from uh, Gamble Garage and uh, just wanted to talk about the new Viper Cut 30 plasma cutter that we're offering. Intro price right now is uh, $369 on GambleGarage.com. Uh, retail price is going to be $399. You can get it on Amazon, eBay, or my website. Um, just want to talk about it just for a minute. It's a dual voltage plasma cutter, 30 amps. Uh, the Viper series is their budget series for the hobbyist that doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money. Um, I want to take a look at it. I'll show you some of the basic features of it. We've got a built-in pressure regulator um, to adjust it. Just pick up on the knob and we'll adjust our pressure here. Um, we want to do when the air is flowing, so we'll just turn the air detection on. Pick this up and we'll adjust it to right around, I like 75 PSI, and when you're done setting it, just push it back down, flip the switch, let's set our cutting amperage, and then the only other option you have is a 2T, 4T setting. The difference is, with 2T, you'll be cutting as long as you hold the trigger. With 4T, you key the trigger, you're cutting, when you're done cutting, you key the trigger again, and you're done. So, uh, 30 amps on 220 volt, 30 amps on... Uh, 110 volt. I've had customers tell me they can cut as thick as 3 8 mild steel on 110 volts. I've done personally a half inch steel, half inch aluminum, um, and I've had customers claim to get 3 quarters mild steel on 220 volt. And um, that's it. Comes with a, a standard S45 style torch. You get a, um, a standoff for cutting to save on consumable life seen this and you don't know what it is, this is a tip wrench to loosen and tighten your electrodes. Uh, we also offer the consumable kit with five spare electrodes, five spare tips, an extra standoff, a nozzle, and a swirl ring for an extra 50 bucks if you buy it when you buy the, wild, or the plasma cutter. Um, just tonight we're playing around cutting some 3 16 mild steel on 110 volts and uh, hasn't given us a single hiccup. It's working great. Let's do a quick demo. 